Hey guys, I'm actually putting this in uh, afterwards when I was doing the editing uh, for some syncing issues uh, because of the problem I'll have that you'll hear later on. Um, basically, just go ahead to 23 minutes into the game and that's where the commentary resumes. Um, sorry for the delay. Thank you. All right, and wow, I'm gonna have to. I'm, I'm gonna resync this. My actually, 23 minutes into the game, my power just went out. Um, but I am back. Um, so hopefully the resyncing won't be too bad here. Um, so basically, where we were was uh, uh, Magic is uh, in a decent situation, has a lot of. We are seeing a couple more armories go on, so we could see the the phase of this game change. I'm gonna be able to get some upgrades. We do see two starports up now, um, already been up for a while, but uh, Light has. Sorry, I'm a little confused exactly where we were. I forget what we were doing. Uh, we do see the we do see more starports going down, so we are gonna see a switch here uh, into battle cruisers on field. Usually, the only reason they'll get these many uh, starports here. And so things are about to get very interesting. Um, Light has chosen that this is the time where he needs to switch over, uh, change up this. Um, Terran vs. Terran can come down to battle cruisers here uh, with Yamada guns. Yo mama guns, as I like to call them. But really, uh, we are seeing the same thing here uh, from up magic here and um we do see the science facilities with so this is exactly what we i really was excited for um and this is going to be so interesting uh things are going to completely switch over here and now we see uh up magic so hopefully i can resync this fairly well um thanks for being patient with me guys uh it means a lot but really uh this is kind of uh, unfortunate here we have the st starports landing followed up by some control towers here and really uh things are about to change the ground armies are about to be small so who can make a move before the uh before those battle cruisers come out to play, uh, that'll really be that'll really uh, make or break this game. A uh, third one going up, so we're gonna see five versus five. Uh, another army going up, obviously knowing that uh, the phase of this game is changing completely. And now this uh, this um, ten o'clock expansion is gonna be able to go. He's gonna be able to drop it this ten o'clock expansion. And I don't think Up Magic really has too many forces there, but I think that's all he wanted to do is delay that. And it looks like it looks like with uh, more reinforcements from another drop, it looks like Light's gonna be able to clean this up and wipe out that expansion. We're gonna be able to get that up. 
uh, pretty quickly here. But at the same time, it looks like Up Magic is uh, going for a drop, gathering up a lot of forces. Those are about six drop ships, guys. And he's going to be able to go in a drop. Looks like he's going to drop at the 2 o'clock expansion, I feel. And Light is there, though. Light actually dropping his units. Up Magic dropping on top. Up Magic with a lot more units. And Up Magic, a WCG sign coming across the map, or coming across the screen at the wrong time, I feel. But Up Magic is going to be able to really uh, do a lot of damage here. Going to be able to knock out the remainder of Light's forces. And now, more importantly, though, he's going to be able to stop the gas. He's going to be able to siege up here and probably take out that natural gas. Uh, Light should be able to hold this off with another drop pretty soon. But um, it's just going to wait. He's trying to get, he's trying to uh, gather up his forces, get another drop, but he's lost this gas. And now he's probably going to lose the natural gas. And already, Up Magic is taking a commanding spot in this game. Uh, 25 minutes into it. And it looks like Up Magic is pretty comfortable right now uh, with still a lot of tanks. Um, and But I mean, it's too early because they are switching to these battle cruisers. But Light's going to see this, or Up Magic is going to see this. And uh, Light, is that. Yeah, that is actually Light's mine in the bottom. So both players know exactly what they are going against now. Who can prepare better? Uh, who can play this off better? It's going to be interesting. I think going into it already, Up Magic has a pretty comfortable lead in this game right now. Really knocking off gases left and right. But uh, with these battle cruisers, they're going to be able to change this off. Physical lap up for both players here. Uh, things are about to get very, very interesting, though. And uh, we are going to see this. And another drop coming in from Light. Just way too many units. Up Magic's going to lose his hold. But I think he knocked off the natural gas. And now he's going to go in. A big mistake by Up Magic, losing a lot of dropships. Four or five dropships falling. Don't think he expected that many Goliaths up from his opponent. You can see his face. Uh, actually, you can't see his face because he still looks calm as ever. But that was a big, big moment right there. And that actually does hurt quite a bit. Loses about four or five, but I think at the ground armies are going to be pretty limited. Uh, both players are going to be pumping out those Goliaths left and right. And now we do see a couple battle cruisers out, but he still has seen this. And uh, we do see one, two out for so far. And going to be followed up pretty quickly here by the uh, by the battle cruisers from light. And it's going to come down to who can land better. Um, battle cruisers, battle cruisers, battles. You don't see them every day, guys. Uh, so hopefully you enjoy this game as much as I'm about to. And hopefully my power stays up. If it goes out. I might just uh, go, I might have to steal someone else's internet to do the rest of this commentary because I want to see what happens. Um, but we are seeing Up Magic making a move across a little bit, and Light's going to be able to hold this expansion, going to be able to put some pressure down in this bottom right fairly quickly, I think. Um, definitely has the high ground advantage. But right now, he's, both players are just going to micro up. I uh, think to get a little doll at the moment, though. While both players are going to get loads of battle cruisers. As you can see, look at their supply count. Um, they still have a lot of room for these battle cruisers. SCV is being transferred um, basically to reinforce all the ones that he did lose. Um, getting those minerals at the top right. Top right minerals going to be mined out pretty quick. The top right and the bottom left, excuse me, will be mined out pretty quickly. There's not too many minerals up there. And we do see Battle Cruiser popping out for both players. Uh, five star ports for each player. Six star ports for Out Magic. Five for, or no, five, never mind, because he only went one earlier. So five for each player. Uh, pretty standard here. Um, for the battle cruisers battles you don't see this every day um i've seen a couple of these and they're always usually pretty exciting here but uh right now up magic is in a good situation i think he definitely has the advantage but light's gonna come in here and try to make a move and possibly pick off that gas um which he should be able to do fairly quickly if uh, up magic doesn't get reinforcements over there up magic coming over repairing that one tank with only one and repairing the gas here and gonna be able to try to hold that we do see another, we could see more drops coming to play, but I don't know how many players, he, he, how many dropships each player have. I don't think uh, Magic's really going to be able to do many short drops. He lost all his maneuverability with the losing those dropships. Now he's producing uh, val uh, battle cruisers only. Um, Valkyrie, that'd be interesting, but Battle Cruisers only. We do see another drop coming in here from Light, um, but I don't see this doing too much damage. Up Magic in pretty good position to hold this off. Gonna be able to hold off this drop without too much damage. A small drop, just not enough dropships, not enough units. Uh, he is taking the high ground. He has killed quite a few SCVs, but Up Magic has lost that gas right there, and this is what I'm saying in this expansion, in this when this game goes late, TVT, uh, it's hard to hold these expansions, uh, basically. And this, uh, wow, that, yeah, that, uh, that barracks goes down pretty quickly both players know what they're going against up magic with a ton more battle cruisers at the moment i think it should take care of this moment take advantage of this missile turrets going up all over for every player uh luckily for them missile turrets built so quickly uh cost about uh, 100 minerals but they go up very very quickly and they're pretty strong here and uh both players are going to need a ton of them until we see that big battle cruiser versus battle cruiser battle uh which this game will really come down to but right now we see about a fleet for um up magic at only about, excuse me, only about four or five here for uh, Light, 
And um, lights, I'm going to need to get a couple more. I'm sure he's producing non 